All right, we are back for day four of the greatest storage unit I've ever found. So uh, definitely looking forward to this one. Um, I found a lot of gold last night out of that box. You saw, if you haven't already seen the box, I found at the end of day three. Day three started off so slow and went crazy at the end. So um, I'll show you all the gold I found at the end of this video. But if you want to see me opening it, go check out uh, day three. Um, so yeah, uh, we still have a mess of everything laying around. You know, I'm doing this all by myself, so um, trying to get it in. You know, I, I got a feeling a lot of this is furniture back here as we go back. So we're going to be digging through the furniture, kind of throwing a lot of it away. Probably 99% of it's going to be thrown away. Unfortunately, I just don't have the room to store furniture. So that's going to be the um, it's just get rid of stuff um, and try to make uh, better paths to get to things. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm not going to show you guys me removing all this furniture and putting it in the back of my trailer and stuff. It's just not going to be a great video. So when I get to boxes and things like that, I'll, I'll update you guys. Thanks. We got the two matches that you saw in there in the picture. So we opened up a little corner here. Um, found a box here. I can kind of chewed up. See, they had a rodent issue in this unit. But let's see. It says Nina's room. I started the, started the box. Oh, great. I keep forgetting about this. Apparently, I didn't cut this tape that well. There we go. Oh, boy. All right, let's figure this out. All right, I'm back. Um, I just <laughs> throw right there. Hopefully, the wind doesn't blow it away. It's a little windy today. Um, so far, it doesn't look like much here. It's like some toys and little like tchotchke desk items and stuff I was hoping I don't I'm not sure who Nina is in this group they use this really thick paper I mean I don't think it was meant for wrapping items but she especially one handed two handed is hard enough one handed Almost impossible. Oh, okay. Just like an old. It's not, not even old. It's just that's just like an image on there. All right. Unfortunately, a lot of like personal items. I hate to throw them away, but there's just what else I'm gonna do about it? I can't. Can't. Can't do anything else about it. All right. To me, it looks like a bunch of trash. So far, nothing great. Telephone book, okay. Yeah, just kind of like sightseeing everything. I don't need anything of value in here. What I'll do is I will, uh, I'll go through it and if I see anything cool, I will bring you guys back with me. One item in there that's worth absolutely anything. All of it's trash, so I want to show you guys the good boxes and the bad boxes. Make you think I'm not just planting everything. I'm sure some people are thinking that, but uh, we're gonna keep digging through and I'll keep updating you guys. All right, I got a box that might be good, we'll see. I briefly looked at it because I thought it might have just been this thing in it. But let me grab it and see. Stuff's falling out of it. That's why I had to like quickly pack it up. There might be something cool in here because I saw this tin. in here and round off the bad one all right well i will guys keep, keep i'll throw this away and keep you guys updated best i can all right box number three it says living room knickknacks yeah of course i could have bet you a thousand dollars this shredded paper would be in there so far we are striking out day four is of ending up like day three was. Let's hope it finishes out like that. That's it for box number three. All right, well, in getting this, there's a desk on top of here, which is right there now, on top of this. I wanted to see what this was. When I started looking into it, 
Check that out, there's a safe in there. I have no idea if it's full. This just is like paperwork. Oh jeez, I'm not gonna get back in. Man, this thing's seen better days. Oh jeez. Okay, more paperwork. All right. Well, maybe this whole thing's just full of paperwork. Maybe this. Um. All right. Well, that's gonna be a project. Maybe not this video, but we will get to that eventually. <laughs> all right, we're making a little cubby here. Oh, this is actually what's well, actually in the box. Brand new, I think. I don't think it's ever well. Man, I looked in the box and I, it looked like it was brand new. So I might have to open it and sell it as open box if it if it is new in there. Um, but that could be just from time because it's been sitting here for so long. Got that and I got this thing here. So it's better. Um, we got to turn around here. It's a Panasonic. It's got a radio. And it's got, I think it's an 8-track player and a record player. I uh, Just like to fill you guys in. I'm finding like bins with these. That box had them as well. And they're the Christmas Villages from Walmart. We're just gonna throw them away. I, I looked them up, there's just not enough value there. I, you know, I might donate these actually. I saw a deal, I'll take them to the thrift store. I'm gonna donate these to the thrift store. Hopefully somebody can use them. I'd hate to just throw them away. So we're gonna, we're gonna donate these to the store. Good idea, Mike. I didn't know if it would work, but I jimmied this out, just like that. And so let's see what's in it. Oop. All right, nothing crazy. Let's see. Oh, sorry about the finger there. Didn't notice, I wasn't paying attention. Typewriter cleaner, three for 98 cents. Huh, I see there's a typewriter right here. Go. Underwood, Underwood Forum. So let's take a look here. This keyboard is in pretty, pretty rough shape. I mean, I'm sure you can clean that up. The only thing that looks exciting is that box. But I'm wondering whether it's just part of the pieces to that. Here we go, moment of truth. Will I be disappointed? Yes, it's just paperwork and crap. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh well. All right. This is all just like a filing cabinet material, so it's not like a cast iron safe or anything. Go. Got it open. Wow, that was a little easier than it should be. There's a box in here and it's heavy. Alright, well, there's something else in there. Sorry, I was a neighbor talking to me about stuff. Alright. I briefly just peeked in here and there's not much in here. Man. Why would you even lock this up? <laughs> what? Alright, you know what? I'm curious. I don't know if that would be like PC nowadays. This is already unlocked. Oh, there's the deed. The social security stuff. Yeah, it's just, just paper they didn't want to get burned up or they wanted to keep safe. All right, well, we've been digging through boxes. Like my buddies here actually helped me out. Uh, we haven't found much. We found all these records, so that's about that's pretty cool. Some lead glass here, lead crystal glass. But uh, what I saw was this box, Elvis figurines, and I'm curious. I mean, if they're if they're, if they're cool, they're worth some money. But you know, they made a lot of collectible Elvis stuff. So, I'm not sure how old these are. And that's what kind of like I'm questioning. One, two, three, all right, and some boxes. So let's see, what is this? Is this an Elvis figurine? Oh well. Oh great, more bubble wrap. What are these all little tiny figures? Hmm, that looks like an Elvis figure. So what we'll do, we're gonna go ahead and dig through some of this and I'm gonna open some of this and I'll show you guys afterwards because there's, I'm, it's impossible to do this one-handed. Let's just look at some of this other stuff while I got one hand here. This seems like it's empty. Well, that's like a chocolate box, so I'm glad it's empty. I'm 
another chocolate thing. Okay, so here we go. We got a little bit of, these are what's in this box, little tiny ones, all little figurines here. If you can see, these look like they're little lenticular things. Oh, let me get in the sun here. And as you spin it, image changes. And they, they look like they have batteries they put up. And then we opened up, we ended up, we opened up one of the big ones. So here you go. And these are just, all these boxes are full of, the, full of the little ones that you just saw in the other box. Here, which one did I open up? I'm not gonna open all these because it's just so much work. But as you can see, it's fully these little ones. So who knows? I don't know how much they're worth. Might not be worth much. Might be worth a lot. I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and just box this up, know it's a keep box, and move on. I just don't know what uh, hope I have left. I mean, we made a fourth quarter comeback uh, on day three uh, with such an amazing end to the day. Probably the best finds of the whole entire thing, but um, we found great finds the first two days too. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm losing kind of losing hope that today's going to turn it around. So um, we're going to keep plugging away. Um, hopefully find something in here. I mean, the Elvis figures we found earlier, they're great. Um, for $20, I'd still be happy, but it's a lot of work. So I want to I would like to keep producing if I can. So. I gotta be honest, you I totally haven't videotaping much because I am just it's just working and not finding much. Um, here's some of the stuff I found: little pocket Simon in the box and new board game, not worth much. And I found this PlayStation, I think it's PSP um, manual. I did find this bag, and that's why I started videotaping because I think I saw this. Well, maybe that's not as cool as I thought. Let's see if any of this makes it into the... Oh, look. There we go. Come on, baby. Some old knives. That's what I'm looking for. Have some of these be good. That'd be a nice little... There's a knife sharpener. More keys. No shortage of keys in this unit. Uh, that's some kind of, like, sight for a bow, I think. I'm not quite sure what that would go on. This is an old leather pouch or wallet. A wallet. An old, just generic lighter here. Don't think that's worth much, but we're going to put it in the keep pile for now. Ooh, here we go. Some old military butt, military stuff. That's kind of cool. What does that say? Efficiency, honor, fidelity. Cool. Alrighty. Well, there's at least an interesting thing to look at because everything else I've looked at has not been interesting. So, <laughs> sorry to be so down, but I definitely can't complain about the unit. But, um, hard to go work a whole day today and not find much. Alright, well this one says add. It was already open like this when I found it up in there. It was lays on the side. And I figured I'd videotape it because it says attic. So it means anything good in here. Oh, it looks just pictures. Of, an, of a pretty kitty cat. From 83. I'm assuming one of them drew these. They got them framed from a framing place, so. They definitely spent some money on framing. They only did. Just, yeah, just some. What looks like oh, oh wow some silverware in there just sitting in here interesting there is a silverware box or just what is this yeah, it's a silverware box that's not in the silverware <gasps> cutco let's go all right baby we got a score all right, finally, first score of the day. I'm seeing if all the knives are in here. I'm sure they are. I knew attic box would be good. I mean, this rest of this unit's been good, and the attic has to have good stuff too, right? All right, oh, man, that brightens my spirits up. Let me show you where I found it because I've been kind of digging my way through, tunneling my way here. You can see my work is still ahead of me for one person. It's a lot of stuff to move and twist and shake, but this is where I found it, right here. As you can see, there's evidence of the peanuts being out. Oh, I'm on my way, getting to the storage unit for day number five, yeah. Um, 
And uh, so day four was uh, was probably the worst day we've had, but day three, like I said, ended with a bang. And, and so I just actually left, I didn't get it on video, they didn't want me filming, but um, a classic firearms place. And to get this checked out, because all the research I did showed, if you can see, is an SS dagger and they believe it's legit 100%. They do auctions at their um, auction house and they said they think it could fetch anywhere between four to $6,000 at auction. Um, they said there's no reserve in their auction, so I didn't put it in the auction. I might still do it. I'm still kind of debating because I don't want it to go there and if it is worth that much money and to go for $1,000, I just don't feel comfortable um, letting it go for that little. So um, anyways, uh, I just figured I'd update you guys with that information as we start day five. I'm gonna make it a real quick trip there and trip to the dump because the dump closes in an hour and a half. So I'm gonna run in, throw some stuff in the back of my truck and head out to the dump. And then hopefully we can get back to the back layer, the very last layer of boxes. Uh, anyways, I look forward to seeing what we can find, maybe find something at the end uh, here. We can uh, we can have a, a good end to our, our uh, day five and, and good end to the storage unit. Um, I put it um, all up there and all these are Christmas things. They're all going in the trash today. So, um, so I found this bow yet last, right before I left the other day. I, it's not worth anything. It's just an old bow, but did find that there. Um, that was up top up here somewhere. So well, my goal is to try to move this somehow, move this and get back in here. So that's my goal. A lot of these tubs back here, and you know, I'm not really excited about. I think they're all just going to be Christmas stuff. So all the tubs I found, every, almost every single tub is Christmas. And so we're going to dig in. It's hot. I got to be quick right now so I can come back later. All right, here's the first thing I pulled out. That's not these Christmas bins. Um, man, we have so much crystal. I wish, I really wish I had a place to put this other than donating it all. Um, I really do. Um, what is this? Honer. Oh, this might be a, um, a Honer does harmonicas. What could this be? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a keytar kind of thing. Melodica. That's cool. Man, I hope this works. I actually will clean this up and use it. I'm a big musician, so. Um, man, that's cool. I don't know how much value that has, but that's cool. Regardless, you know, there are so many Bibles in this unit. It is crazy. They're all in terrible shape though. That's a bad thing. All right, this will be the only box I do like this before I leave. Who thinks paper is a good idea? If you're reading this, comment down below. Is this a good way to pack things? I would love to know. If you think it is, why? And give me a valid reason why. Because look, it leaves like a residue on everything. This is called Living Room Knickknacks Box. So far, the Nick. Alright, man, I thought it was going to be all full of jewelry. Let me take a look at these in better detail here. Alright. So we're back, made a dump run. I've already cleaned out some stuff that I knew was already trash. Pulled this bin out. We have two bins that are this color. So we're gonna see. I don't think these are Christmas stuff only because they're not the same color as all the Christmas ones. So that's good. Ooh, we got a Barbie doll. I don't know, how old are these? 1977, okay. Some vintage Barbies here. Can we, let's see, does it, how does it open here? Oh, there it goes. All right, a lot, of, a lot of vintage Barbie doll clothes. Not really any Barbies, but we'll take it. All right, I mean, I don't, how do you know if these are old or not? I don't know, are they dated? They look to be in like pretty rough shape. Anything that's not like colored is gonna be colored from that. So like here's a Barbie tag. Uh, I can't see a date. 
I don't know. Some people probably know better than I do. Uh, it'll be something I do. This will be future mic. We'll have to deal with this. Present mic is too hot. But still keep. And what we got here? Well, it says Barbie. Probably newer Barbies. There's some hair pieces. Oh, there's a ton of shoes. And maybe the Barbies are in there. Yep, there are the Barbies. That Barbie look, neck looks a little hurt. She looks a little uncomfortable in there. I don't think I thought she's supposed to be. <laughs> but she fixes herself. All right. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of Barbies in various shapes. I think this one's missing hands. No, she's got it all. All right. Well, what ears are these? They're soft. They're squishy heads. So I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Or if that means they're not real Barbies. This is Mattel Inc. Nineteen sixty something. Hmm. Maybe they're older than I thought. Well, if they are, then that's great. That's a good. Oh, she just doesn't want to be comfortable. Like, like, let me see on this one here. What does this one say? Oh my gosh, my eyes are just terrible. So this one says. Nineteen eighty-five. Okay. So, so yeah. I mean, still score. I think it's a score. I mean, I'm sure I could lot this all up for one big lot and get 50, 60 bucks for it. All right. Well, there's box one, and my eyes are terrible. I went back and I used the um, my little handy dandy uh, magnifier, and it was nineteen sixty-six, not nineteen eighty-five. So, there's some old Barbies. Now, we've been grabbing the bins from back here. Um, so that's where all these white bins came from. As you can see, there's not much else back here. Um, just some furniture, cookie jar, trash, 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 table, all trash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on Facebook Marketplace, say free scrap, and hopefully somebody will come get it on. I don't have to move any of it, so um, that's gonna be my ultimate goal. I mean, you could scrap all this, but I just don't have time or effort to do it. So, anyways, I will, uh, um, yeah, keep you guys updated if I find anything cool. All right, well, I did. I'm digging back here. Not much else here. Um, so this might be the end of the video. Might not. We'll see. Find anything else cool. I did find this cool old clock back here. Ooh, super dusty. I'm not sure if it's old. Or just looks older. There's no. Oh, Howard Miller. Well, that's cool. That's like a little giveaway they gave. Oh, the keys in there, so that's good. Doesn't look super fancy. And then the inside looks kind of empty in there. But still cool. Um, yeah. And I'm sure it's worth something. Not a ton, but something. All right. All right, well, that's good. We got them all, all that furniture gone for free. All right, well, that ends the greatest sword gene I ever had. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a recap at the end of this video of everything I got in the storage unit. Um, cleaned up most stuff. We had that going. I'll clean this all up off camera, sweep it all up, get all this stuff boxed up. Um, but we got most of it gone. No hidden surprises in the end. Um, just a lot of work, a lot of junk. Um, so yeah. I mean, I can't complain one bit, and uh, I think this will be the biggest score I've ever had and probably ever will have, so um, definitely uh, looking forward to the next score, but this has got a lot of work to get ahead of to organize all this stuff and get it ready to sell, so anyways, <clears throat> stay tuned here in just a minute, and I'm going to show you all the cool stuff and all the numbers and stuff that I can give you off the best I can, so uh, stay tuned. Now, what a unit. Um, I just want to give a quick wrap up. To kind of show you guys some of my favorite things I found because you know if I did a video with all of the things I found in this unit um, it'd be pretty long so that's why I just document as I go but I want to show you some of the more valuable things and just some of the things that I thought were cool um, but like I said there's plenty of things that I'm just not showing here at all that have a lot of value that will add to the totals 
I got the furniture removed. Somebody came and got it, most of that furniture uh, for free. Just gave it away because I, I didn't have to haul it. Um, and all the metal. I just let some scrap guy come and get all the the washer, the dryer, the refrigerator, and get rid of all that stuff for me. And, and it's just... Uh, uh, it was pretty funny because I had a washer, a dryer, two filing cabinets, I believe, um, a refrigerator. What else did he? What else was there? I, I don't know. There's a lot. There's more than that. And the guy had one pickup truck and somehow fit it. And it was it, it, it was twice as tall as the pickup truck above his pickup truck. And he had the bed down and it was all in the bed as well, twice as high. So. I hope you made it home okay, but uh, that was obviously not my problem anymore. So, all right, let's get to the recap. All right, so as you can see, I've kind of accumulated some of my favorite things I found and some of the more valuable things I found. Um, uh, here is just some of the cool coins. I just thought they were cool. They're, you know, dollar Eisenhower dollars. You have the Sacagawea dollars. You know, no crazy money. Some people will tell you these are worth a ton. They're really not. And Susie B. Anthony's... Um, you know, once again, not worth much. Um, you have some cool, like these, a steel penny from the war when they needed to use all the copper. Um, a few other, I think we have another steel penny here. So you see they're silver in color, not made out of silver, but they are silver in color. Um, going on the same theme as money here, uh, we have these, a silver, silver certificate dollar bill and a red note two dollar bill. In absolute terrible condition, but still cool nonetheless. Um, these would not be worth much more than face value. They're probably worth you know a couple bucks each or something. You know they're really not worth a ton, but they're still cool to hold on to and and to have to have in my collection because I do collect coins. So uh, as you can see, I don't know if you remember on the video. I think it was I think it was day two. Uh, maybe it was day three. I can't remember, but oh, it was day three. I found these. They had all these taped to index cards. All the coins. So as you can see, there's little tape lines. There's no tape on them. It's just where it oxidized outside of the tape uh, where they had it. So anyways, here you have a standing Liberty half dollar, right? I think it's called. I don't honestly know all my coin. Here's a 1960. What is that? I don't know. It's silver. Can't remember what year that one was. Anyways, uh, here we have a peace dollar from 1923. Very tarnished. These are all very tarnished. Another piece dollar from 1923. I think it's 1922. Piece dollar. So all really cool. All silver. Um, so those are really cool to, to have as part of my collection here. Um, so along with the jewelry. So I actually sold all of the uh, jewelry that you saw in the boxes. I took all. I, I dug through as best I could to find the gold. And I sold all the jewelry boxes with the jewelry inside of costume jewelry for $250. So that supplemented my gas, um, all my time out there. And I mean, obviously, you know, I made much more than that back in here, but, um, so anyways, I want to show you these. These are like just some watches. I kept some of the stuff that wasn't gold or silver, kept these, um, these rings are all not gold. I have another box just like this full, um, of just not gold rings. And so basically, um, these are 14 karat HGE, a lot of them, and they're just plated. Um, but they are still worth something. All right, moving on. Uh, so now we have some of the, the higher dollar stuff um, from here on out. Um, as you can see, it's just gobs, and gobs is all sterling silver. Some of it's gold plated sterling, but there's Mark 925. All of this is just solid sterling silver here. All these rings here are sterling silver. Let's see if I can get better close ups here. These rings, sterling silver. These are some of the, what I thought was some of the cooler pieces here. I just thought these were neat. They're sterling silver, but there's some kind of award for 25 military or something, but I thought they're really cool. And I'm sure I'm going to look it up later, but as of now, I'm just kind of going over the recap. I have not looked these up. Oh, uh, this little Scotland emblem here, sterling as well. Um, this is a really cool emblem too. This is a vintage as well. Uh, three horses, sterling silver as well. These spoons I, I found in that lockbox. They're both Mark Sterling on the back. A spoon and a fork, sorry, but it's like some kind of kid set um, or like a souvenir uh, set. So I think it's kind of cool. Um, and just a few things in the boxes, uh, just Sterling Silver sets in the boxes, just some earrings. Nothing high end or anything, but still Sterling. And the final piece of Sterling here. It's Department of Navy, 20 years of service pin. I thought that's kind of cool. Just, just the significance of that is really cool. 
All right, so into now we're getting to the, the more high dollar things, and we're going to gold. And man, did I find quite a bit of gold. Now, one of the one of the bells of the ball here is this 1902, I believe. Let's see. If it'll focus. 1906. Five peso gold coin. Now it's, I know it's a rough shade. That's where it's sitting on the on the index card. I'll clean that up with just some soap and water. It'll it'll come right off. But these go on eBay for around three hundred dollars a piece just for that coin. Um, now let's get to the other things. Now this is really cool too. This is a rose gold watch. Now I don't think the band is gold, but the bezel certainly is. And just to show you, there you go. I believe it says fourteen k. All these rings are gold. This is in the locks box as well. Then all of these chains. Now I know they're in a pile. I gotta untangle them. But when I was throwing things in the thing, I had to just keep moving. Oh, there's another ring. I didn't even get out of there, but there's another gold ring in there. Now these cufflinks. They're actually they have a, a brand name. If you look these up, you can find these exact cufflinks on eBay for about $400 for the set. So that's just absolutely nuts to me. They look like kind of cheapy earrings, but obviously they're gold, but man. But I, from the listings I read, I think those are actual diamonds in there. And just some more things, just some uh, some little things, like little, this little emblem here. I think it's just a, just the uh, gold piece on there is, is gold. I think the other stuff is it's pot metal and a little like, kid's ring. Vintage kid's ring. So I did weigh up all the gold. Um, if I get a chance to find it, I'll pop it up here. It's around $3,500. Now that's purely in scrap value alone. And it's if everything is 10 carat. Um, I just made it easy on myself. I didn't weigh the... Not, I didn't weigh this or this um, because it's just not all that's not all gold and obviously it's, these are in a box I don't remove them out of the box uh, so just this gold alone I know it doesn't look like much is $3,500 in gold um, gold's quite a bit right now so uh, and that's at 10 carats you know it, it, they're worth more money as jewelry alone so I'm imagining this this whole set if you count that the, the cufflinks back here with the watch I think we're talking about four or five thousand dollars in gold Anyways, moving on. Um, so <laughs> this is a huge score. I don't want to make this too long a recap. I thought this knife set was really cool. It's a Cutco. If you know anything about Cutco, it's an old vintage knife set, steak knife set. So I thought that was just really cool. I'm not sure if they were ever used. They probably just sat around in the attic because this is marked in a box called Attic. I believe this is in, I think, I think this video. You'll see these pop up. So anyways, those are really cool. Um, a set like those go for about $150 on eBay. The Furbies, I found two of them just like this. They're called the Emotronic ones. And in perfect shape, they go about $100. Uh, with this, the bubble's really dented on this one. And I think the other one's in similar shape, not as bad. I'm gonna imagine I'm gonna get around $60 a piece, $70 a piece from them. I think they're really cool. Um, and they're brand new. They've obviously still got the spoon like attached in the back there. Got all the little stickers on here and all of that. So that does help quite a bit. And there was two of them, the exact same ones. So that's pretty awesome. And finally, well, not finally, before the biggest thing I found is a Star Wars set, which is also a huge thing to find. And I did actually look all these up. So I think in total there were 16 figures. I'm trying to remember how many now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 figures. Or 21 figures. Anyway, so some of the more valuable ones are Boba Fett. And I believe Luke Skywalker here. Now he's missing that, but I, there is some pieces in these, like capes and such. Even these capes, I couldn't believe it. They go for like $30 a piece on eBay. So I assume this value of this whole entire thing to be around five to $600 for this, for this Star Wars set. Um, I may or may not individualize it. I'm not quite sure. And finally, this wasn't cool enough. 
The Battle of the Ball. The 1933 military SS dagger. German military Nazi. Now, I obviously don't like the history of this blade. Don't condone it. Don't support it. But I did find it. It is authentic. I took it down to a lo local auction house here. Uh, they only do in antique military items. It's all they do. And they've sold plenty of these, and they think it could be worth anywhere between four to six thousand dollars. Inside, it's inscribed. Now, this would not. This would be a dress knife. It would not be something that would be. Um, like used in battle. So you see it's inscribed. I think it's like, my loyalty, my loyalty is honor. But as you see, pretty cool. Um, I will eventually sell this, just don't know where I'll sell it at. There you have it. Those are some of my great finds that I found in this storage unit. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. If you also haven't already, please go check out all the part one, two, and three before this. And you can see some really cool videos about some cool finds. Um, stay tuned. There's plenty more. I just finished another unit right before I filmed this video. So <clears throat> I'll have that video out shortly. Uh, thank you guys for everything, for staying through, and, and all for all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing so many more uh, with you guys. Have a great one.